The first minute and 20 seconds or so is me giving you a preview of what this is going to be about and talking about these masks I'm giving away. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this video here is just going to be about a walk in the backyard on the back 40 or whatever. Checking out all the different things down there, all the stuff we've got to do to the, um, the road and stuff, a little bit of upkeep here in the spring and stuff like that. Coming up tomorrow will be a video about these N95 particulate masks. I'm going to be giving them away because of the response I had last time. It was amazing. So many people wanting these masks and the stories they had about their family being sick, just getting over chemo. I gave away all the masks I could. I have some more and I'm going to be giving these away. So if you're interested, um, stay tuned tomorrow. I might put the video up early or something. I don't know. I'm going to be giving them away though. And that last video I did, I got more dislikes because I'm giving away masks. Whatever. If you need them, stay tuned. In the next couple days, you're going to see a video on this, and I'll be giving them away. I can't do it before. I can't take the stories now and be like, oh, okay, here you go. No, I got to just like release it for everybody and see what happens. This video is just walking around the backyard. Hope you enjoy. It's a quick video. La di da di da. Rich? No. Well, there ain't no ticks and stuff. Let's, let's walk down there. Lily's coming out. There ain't even no, I just walked back there. There ain't even no leaves on the trees. Might be able to walk right to it. Anything else we should take with us? Out there? Yeah, an ax. Have I got a nice ax? In case there's a bigger tree. I got a nice little hatchet somewhere. Okay. Yes. She goes in there by herself. She needs to learn a couple things. I've told her to stay out from behind them. Don't get in between them. Yeah. Always watching. Lily, get up here. Lily. Does that have a ninja sword? Yeah. He's a regular ninja. Jet ski? No. Oh, that's a snowmobile. That's what I meant, actually. Because oh, you're the snowmobile man. That's what I meant. That's that's I remember. And here's another couple. Volkswagen, that's, a that's a bombardier. Yeah, I remember I had a bunch of. Um, I don't even know where I got them, dude. I don't even remember. I know where I got this. Somebody left us sitting out in front of the gate. The red one? Yeah. Really? Dude, we got to cold start this. We got to cold start that. Why wouldn't we put that in that fucking machine over there? What machine? Gonna run and sit out here all that time. So no, Lily, I'm just telling you. Lily, you gotta listen up. Come here. You go in there with those horses. We run on them all the time. Never get in front of us. Get in front of us. Come on. Keep wearing what they're doing because they might be for six months and then one day they might just get a wild hair and kick you in the head. Right in the head. Right in the head. Seriously. And it kill you. Always don't walk up behind them. Make sure they know you're there when you're walking up on them. Walk up towards the front or the side of them. Go walk up behind them. Every time you go out there and feed them, make a certain noise or say a certain word and say it every single time you do it. And then you come up there and say, hey, horsey, 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 you know what I'm saying? Every time, say the same thing. Look at yeah, that's, smell. that's very smart. Yeah, they, yeah if, they, if the wind's wrong and they can't smell you, and you spook them, you, you know, they Great, I don't think. But yeah, I just, yeah, and just be careful around them. You know, just be very, very careful. So me and Chuck made it to right here. Indicator? Yeah. Wow. And we pulled ourselves back by grabbing trees and pulling ourselves up. Ever. Okay, maybe that's a stretch. That thing? Yeah. We can burn all this. Don't go inside. We can burn all this. Burn it where it sits? 
No, I mean, honestly, whoa, we could get it out here somewhere and burn it, but I'd rather yes. do it yes. right up here. Yeah. Should we clip out, should we rip out them trees, some of them? No, 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 I don't mean right now. I mean with the skid steer. Dude, if you knock them trees out and pile it right on the hillside right there, close that pine, man. Yeah, I'd hate to burn the pine. Close that pine for me. Yeah? Right there. That's pretty wet. Probably catch the whole fucking hill on fire, though. We need to drag them out of here. It is pretty wet. Well, we'll get you one. We'll get you one when we get on the other side. She thinks it's Game of Thrones. She says she's on Game of Thrones when she's carrying this around. You didn't have to have culvert if you had a bunch of big material, big rocks. I think it'd be best. You got the culvert up there, right? Pretty much. Okay, Lily, watch your eyes. Because you don't want to hit these branches with your eyes. Here's one culvert. And it seems to be doing its job. I'll just clean out the top and the bottom side of it. Put the rocks up there so it doesn't fill with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, the whole road seems good. But then again, the snow melt ain't came yet either. I'll tell you what, the water ain't coming over it. Huh? The culvert's lower down there. Yeah. That one needs, like, you know what I mean? Dig a basin and put some rocks well, I figure, like, this one's too high. Yeah. But this is where it was flooded out at one point. If it got to that level, we'd have water there, right? I think we got one more. Lily, have you ever been back here, Lily? Oh, there it is. I knew I had one more in here. Beaver. Probably. Yeah, that is <laughs> it's a buck rub. A buck rub. See the bark missing right there? And the bucks throw their antlers back, they have velvet. And it's time to get the velvet to go away, and it's time for them to go into the heat with the seal. They rub their antlers on that tree, they rub the bark off, they rub the velvet off their antlers. So they can be sexy. Yep. Survival of the city. So this is your property line, right? Yep. This is all the rest of our property. It goes all the way to the fence, Lily. You get up in there, you're gonna see where all them elk and deer been laying. <laughs> and that tree stands right there, but it fell out probably. Hey, hey. I think so, because these have been, these have been cut. They've been cut with a bone saw. You know what? Huh? What is? What? Oh, Robin? Oh, all over here, man. Wow! See where it's been rubbing? Whoa! This is the bottom land. And he's right. You're right, we need to knock that tree stand out of there. This would be where you would put a tree stand. You don't want to be too close to the property line. 
drop of maybe 50 yards if I don't know the neighbor's fence. Well, here then, here you can just shoot over here, look at all that over there. Oh, they go in there all the time. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's called the funnel. It's a natural funnel. They tend to take the easiest route, you know what I mean? With cover and with water. An easy place to hide. You don't have to dig up. So we got a little bit down there. A little bit down there, pretty easy. This guy tore this stuff up and stacked up all the posts. They did like a look like he did a perk test out there. Oh yeah. They did. You know, them vultures are dropping deer parts. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, for sure. What's up? What are these flowers? Poison flowers. Elk. I'm just kidding. Oh, Dude, there's a bunch. I'm telling you, there's elk. all kinds of elk down here. It's just not big, almost big enough to hunt elk. It's going to go over the fence for sure. You know what I mean? Well, you can chase your shit. You gotta contact the landowner, and if he gives you a hard time, then you gotta get fish again, and they'll go get it for you. But, yeah. How much is wire from the top? Huh? Fence there. I don't know what he was thinking, man. The landowner is usually up there to make a couple of grants, you know what I mean? Yes. No. This is all good here. You know, put them horses down here, a mountain lion or something, gonna get them. Mm -hmm. Coyote. Maybe, huh? You ain't kidding about that, huh? I don't know. It just was a thought. Llama. Okay, now we're on their land. Where'd our fence go? Well. You gotta have a llama. That'll keep them away? Yeah, llama's got some free rigging around here. That's the fucking cat or dog up. Pretty easy just to restring this. It's only about 100 feet or so, huh? point is that? One, two, three, four. Four point. People down south do it wrong. They count both sides. You only count one side. You might as well count the biggest side. Point huh? Thirty point. point. Well, um, I like your idea of boxing this off. This. They go. And they scrape it all off. Can I do it? You can do it. You can do it! And they fight each other with those. Yep, yeah, they fight each other, that's right. Wow. Pretty fresh right there too, huh? Isn't that kind of fresh? It seems to be, but they ain't got antlers in it right now. They're just coming in. They don't have any in the early days. Still really? Yeah, yeah. So that's the last year, it's just wet. Probably. probably. Makes sense. It's the year before, probably. Huh? So see all the scrapes and everything in here? That's rut activity. They get in here and then they bugle and they try to find locate cows where the other wolves can't see them. And then they I'm amazed it's so. Drag them in. I'm amazed it's so dry in here right now. Usually there's a little bit. I think if you came in here during the rut. Be careful of your eyes. Try to challenge them and bulls. You see something going on in here. You can get them to come in here and try to find you those bulls. Yeah. The other bulls. Yeah. Dude, I told you there's all kinds of them down here. Yeah, you have to hunt from the ground, I think, but you can do it easily. You've got a good view all around you. That's crazy. Questioni. Huh. My morels would grow down here great, man. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. It'd be worth trying. And that hillside's coming in. See, in this shaded stuff, where it's shady and wet, it's thrown out. Look, if you don't fall on that barbed wire, you're going to trip and you're going to regret it. You would regret it. 
What are these flowers called? Because you've done it. You know I know, Billy? What? You know I know that it comes back and happens with my food around like that? Because I've done it. Yeah. So this is a tree. This is a tree stand, Lily. Well, he's probably trying to draw him in here or something, huh? Well, I think they moved through here. We'd have to clean a lot of this up to put something down here. End up tripping itself and breaking a leg. Yeah. See, this is, this, that's an elk bed. Elk bed, there, yeah. Well, you'll be there soon. Well, yeah, I say you put something down here, break his leg. That's a good cereal, do it, won't it? This blew down the last big that 99 mile an hour wind. our bottom property. There's more down here than there is up there. See the anthill? Yeah. That's an anthill, ain't it? Uh, maybe an old one. Yeah. What maybe is there's that? not out. What? Well, it's pretty early for them, ain't it? Almost, maybe. What, what you talking about, girl? Hey, then vultures been dropping. I got deer legs over here. I guarantee it's right there. You can clean this up in a day, fix the fence in a day. But you have to have a filter for me. Come down here, grow them all up. I think the vultures dropped them. Because they've been cut with bones, huh? With a bu but it's been cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's chewed on. Look at him climbing out of that hole. Maggots. Oh. Let's go. Oh, my huh? God. I think you'd want hey, to keep him out of here. Yeah. It, gets, it, doesn't get, it doesn't get really wet in here. A little bit sometimes. Why? Is that not good for him? Well, they, they, get, they get bogged down here. It's tough to take it out. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I thought you meant eating it. Oh, no. I'm a dum dum. You want to make it easy on yourself to be able to corral it. You know what I mean? Yep. You plant everything right here. You corral it. You plant it. Whatever you're going to do. That over here. I know. What, you think I got lost? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> he thought I got lost. He's like, this guy's pretty old. I think he got lost. Yeah, see, this is everything stays in the like layback in here. Is there a, I hope we see a duck or two. See the water, Lily? That's our pond. Huh? Bring that out. That's fine. I know, right? I think it would be hard to keep it from spreading. Hey, you get one of them big water sucker pumps. Dude, it wouldn't be. You go around, you burn the edge with small burners, and you burn the middle. Start on the. the what? Um, it's what? Hitchhiker. I'll look in a second. 
Oh yeah, walking right through here, huh? Wish we had this when we were kids, we'd be playing paintball. Remember you could rent them down at the Army Navy store? Oh, there's my fence. Yeah, right there. Wow, that stuff is stinking. Dry. So let me ask you this. What about in between all that stuff down there? Planting poplars or something? I mean, there's trees, trees are money. Gotta protect them, but yes, they absolutely are. Um, you gotta know what's gonna grow right because you have to water table, that's why there's not trees there. You know what I mean? But the trees look good. Bamboo. <laughs> it's kind of a wrong state for that, but. Well, cool. Damn! You need to listen, Lily. Metallic, don't it? Yeah. Maybe somebody's pumping water out here. That could be what supplies my pump. Definitely it's a dam. You know, there used to be a way they were trying to get down this way too. What egg? I thought someone said the eggs. No. No eggs. I would have this all set up with like 12 different honey stands. So I can just pattern the eggs. Huh. Take a lot of time. You know what you call a girl with no arms and legs laying on the beach? Sandy. Sandy. You know them all too, though. I forgot that one. It's a lot of dirt. It all just keeps coming down. I think you're still on my property, too. It's not even that, it's Phil. <laughs> Look at the ravine they've made there with all that falling out. I know. What are you doing? Yes, I know what you mean. Follow this slope down to that grade, take all that high stuff out, you can build up the inside of the corner right here. We got a little bit in front of that truck too. Because there should be some added in here. It's so damp. Yeah, and like I say, we either you either need to try Well dude, this is where I'm talking, like down on those hills and stuff in here. Come on, don't tell me we can't grow mushrooms here. It's the perfect, it's exactly where you'd find them, dude. It is way damp, good, good uh, environment for mushrooms. And this stuff here, man. 